Hi, this is Tapcat. Welcome to part 22 of Let's Play Rise of Venice. All right, our uh, convoy is in the midst of repairs. It got worked over pretty good by a certain pirate convoy that tried to stop us from leaving Sta Constantinople and delivering a diplomat here to relative safety. Now, um, our standing with the council is pretty good, so we My probably are not going to do a whole lot of these missions. I'm certainly not going to do one of the sabotage missions. Let's go out. I had a convoy that we sent out here, the Santa Maria. Let's see if we can do any buying and selling here. Okay. Nope, not like that. We'll ditch that. Pick up some hemp. Pick up some cotton. That's uh, about it, I think. Okay, so this next stop will be a little bit more expensive because we actually do not have a license to trade in Tunis. We're going to go ahead and speed things up a bit. One thing um, I should point out is that I have made some changes to the way these convoys work. Now, uh, a viewer suggested a different way to automate the trade routes. Uh, I've used this screen and kind of walked you through that process. There's a manual uh, series of settings you can go through here. It's way more complicated, I must say. Uh, but you can dictate how much of something you're going to offload into a warehouse or um, to sell in different cities, um, what you're going to load from the warehouse, what you're going to buy. And you can uh, set these settings for each individual city. So, for example, I'm saying, well, I'll buy up to 40 of really anything in these cities uh, for a maximum of this amount. And what that does is it allows you to buy goods in cities you don't have a warehouse. And I will say it's pretty powerful. Um, I, I think we're going to be making a lot more gold without having to take an active hand in the trading. Uh, originally, I was going to do a detailed walkthrough of setting it up, uh, you know, in this series. But literally, it would take me most of an entire episode, I think, to do that well. So what I'm probably going to do is a tutorial for uh, those who might be interested in it. I think that probably makes more sense because it's just too long to force everybody to sit through. Okay, let's see how bad the damage is here. Yeah, 40,000 gold. Ah, okay. And let's see how much we can uh, get back. Now, unfortunately, I'm finding a lot more buying opportunities here than selling. All right, that helped a little bit. I go ahead and buy the fruit. Uh, now, that was nothing compared to what I expect Palermo to cost. So, I see. They just pillaged one of my convoys. Yeah, I am... Um, okay, I actually just heard that noise. That A convoy is I Tells me these guys are uh, back up to snuff. I'm telling you right now, we're going to uh, come out here and start hunting pirates. Now, I've seen some in this general vicinity. Oh, hold on, hold on. Before I do this, we had clothing in our warehouse, or on a ship, rather, and I don't want to carry it. It's just stupid. So we're going to be... Uh, well, another thing I just forgot. I'm doing really well. Uh, I forgot to buy more ammo. All right, we have plenty, but we're going to go ahead and just max out. Okay. Now, I actually thought I remembered 
seeing something at the end of our last installment. Okay, well, geez. Let's go after this guy. Um, sure. Because he's very strong. The battle begins. I don't really like. Uh, I'm not gonna do very many of these because I think it gets probably kind of tedious for viewers. And I'll be Shows. honest, it gets we tedious for me as well. Uh, these fights don't really have enough depth to really, you know, make you want to do something. them over and over again. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and do this one so that we can make a little more money. And then really after that, my intention is as much as possible, I'm going to really try to um, do automated combat. And that's actually one of the reasons I took the more powerful convoy yes. first. Is get this one out of the way and then hopefully, you know, the ones We're that are rated like in the 70s. That's fine. Yes. Oop, come on. Give them to me. And give me a little more. Come on, give me a little more. There you go. Whoop. Hold on there. Yep. Welcome aboard. Actually, I wonder if I can just do this right now. Come on, come on. We're ready. There we go. There we go. Man overboard. You slow down, slow down. Don't, don't, don't. Yes. Wow, that was close, though. I gotta be honest. I think I came really close to not getting that. We're ready. But that's a ship we can sell, and now we've got the numbers, which I'm always happy to have. I think it's pretty huge. And once I take this ship, which I intend to do momentarily. Yep, that's right, boys. Whether you know it or not, you're about to join my little club. Come on. Do something! Yep. And let's go ahead and swap out to cylinder now shop. I got boarded. Oh. Target hit. Okay, let's see how it is. Apparently, I did not reduce. Oh yeah, I don't have any men at all. Ah, uh, damn it! Do I have any men on here? Got him. Yeah. Hey, I don't get them. this. I don't get this We're at all. Oh, I see. Well, the problem is I'm out, man. Yes. Even though. Okay, back to cylinder shot. We need to just fry Target these guys hit. down to nothing. Drop something. We'll get it. All right, I really screwed the pooch on that one, and. Uh, he didn't hold on. I learned a valuable lesson, which uh, it's always good to try to do. They lost Don't blame the game for your own mistakes. Target hit. There's something we can salvage. Yeah, they're just about out of sailors, so I think we're going to uh, have this one sooner rather than later. They lost something. Fire. Come on. Got it. Okay, so now they have literally no manpower, and we should just be able to board. That is Get the ready theory. Get to board. Now, hopefully, I, it's not good coming at them from the front like that. Yep. Like I said, it's not good. But that's all right. We're going to come at him from behind. I got to slow down, though. Jesus, I'm going too fast. I'm going too fast. Okay, here we go. Yep. That's it. All right. Back over here. 
That is something we can All right, let me try it another way. Clearly, this is not working. Actually, let's just do this. Uh, let's come over here. Got him. Uh, my board? Yes. And he has no men. Actually, this doggone ship is about to sink. I gotta be really careful here. We're ready! Okay, if I can just slow down enough, but not too much. That's actually one of the trickier aspects. You have to go to reef sails, but you have to know when to ease We're up on winning. that. Alright, we got it. Now, I hope I didn't lose this Caravel or Carvel permanently. If I did, that's really bad, to put it mildly. So, let's come over here and let's see what we got. Well, I still have... Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. Holy shnikes. Well, I dodged a bullet. Uh, whether I deserved to dodge the bullet, <laughs> that I do not know. But we did, in fact, dodge it, so to heck with it. Let's get rid of the sloop and the bark. Um, yeah, so I guess I picked up <laughs> another ship. I'm not even sure. The Carrick must be new. I'm pretty sure I didn't have a Carrick before. It's great for cargo. Wow, 40 cannons. You gotta be freaking kidding me. Alright, we're keeping that. I'm gonna keep all five of these because there's probably a worse ship I can just trade out for. And then let's go ahead. We'll sell these. That'll, that'll pay for my repair bill, basically. Yeah, and then some. And let's see what's going on it's here. It's good to see you. Because we have a problem. They want a bunch of silk. You know, seriously, I'm not really interested in that right now. Uh, like, I've left this convoy here forever. Okay, well, let's see how bad this is going to be. Take a look at Zara. There you go. It's only half my money. 263,000 gold. And believe it or not, I'm going to do it. Uh, it is quite possibly the most idiotic thing I've ever done in the game. I do really recommend that you try to get these earlier in the game. Like, what I should have done is advance through the ranks earlier, or slower. Because the lower your rank, um, the more expensive all this stuff becomes. Is there just... Yeah, okay, I can buy stuff. I just can't buy anything good, so that's unfortunate. So let's come over to Syracuse. So this is going to be this convoy's run, is these four cities. I mean, Naples, you know, and all that would be another uh, possible thing, but holy cow. You know how much that would cost? Naples would be like another quarter million, so I just can't do it. And I'm actually, uh, they have plague anyway. I was going to say, I'm actually kind of anxious about um, taking on sailors uh, and pirates and all that. But they won't have anybody to take. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, well, we got some of our money back. What we'll do, now that I think about it, I don't even need to go back myself. Now that we have that license... Um, I'll send them back to Athens. I guess what I'm going to have to do is when I finish recording, I'll do it. So there's this more powerful convoy, but unfortunately, I'm still undergoing repairs. Okay, that's that's my cue. Whoa, whoa, I didn't want to speed up that much. Oh, snap. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay, you go there. Now, I thought I had this guy selected, but I was too hasty. So we're going to come up here. I want to find that guy if I possibly can't. Whoa, here he is. Well, it's not him, but it's another one. I want to clean out this little viper's nest they got going. Now, this one I'm going to do automated. Hopefully, I don't regret that. 
but I want to start speeding this up. If I do all this pirate hunting, uh, you know, the other way, this is going to be uh, installment after installment of that. And I think that's just too much. I'm going to speed that up a little bit. All right, we kicked his butt and we discovered his hideout. That's exactly what I wanted. So before I take on a 98 strength convoy, I'm immediately going to repair again. I know we're at 98 or whatever it was, 92%, but I don't care. This guy's tough. We'll try to kill him before we go to the hideout. There's news from Zara. Uh, hopefully very soon. Yeah, see, this is just freaking ridiculous. It's like I can't go 10 feet without one of these idiots waylaying me. So I'm going to clear this nest out here. And then we're going to come over this way and try to do the same thing. I don't know where they're based. But, yeah, I don't see anything over there. Uh, but we did discover this guy's lair, so we're going to take advantage of that. Now, can I still see the pirate? No, I cannot. Let's go get him. Uh, there we go. Okay, so this one only has a strength of 75. Let's max out our, our you know, strength. I forgot we have 500 uh, or five different ships now. So this should be a relatively easy battle. And I could be wrong, but I think fighting these guys like this. Uh, you know what I forgot to do too is grab some crew. Oh man, holy crap. Yeah, we need more men. That's going to reduce our fighting strength, so... Okay, there we go. That'll help. We don't actually need 800. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and repair again, too. Uh, we don't need 800 because uh, what happens is it'll group the... if you, When you hit optimize fighting strength, it will fill the three... Um, what are they called? Escort ships to the extent that it can. There's news from Zara. Okay, what's the news from Zara? Lack of raw materials. Okay. Well, phooey. Let's deal with that. That should be easy. I can bring some. I'll bring a little more. So it's not fantastic. But it isn't the worst. We need to probably move a little quicker than that. So let's go here and there we go. Now they're back up to 75. They must have actually gotten some more um, some more salt after that message. Let me get rid of everything I can because uh, all this fighting with stuff on board is probably not the smartest idea ever. All right, we're just going to go and yes directly attack ye old base so here we go all right so this is the strongest one i'm still gonna just go automated i think i mean mm. yeah i'll try it i hope i don't regret this We're losing men, that's for sure. But we won. We crushed them. Oh, no. I see. So this is the second one. Well, that's all right. With a fighting <laughs> strength of two. Let's go ahead and max our fighting strength, and we'll automate. Okay. Same thing. Let me just make sure we're at max. We are. That was weird. Like, what was it? Some guy in a canoe fighting us? <laughs> All right, we destroyed his hideout. We got some goodies. We got 62,000 from the Senate. And uh, they're happy with us all the way around. So let's come back over here. We'll see if we can recruit some more men to kind of top off. Um, yep, we can. And I'm going to go ahead and buy more munitions here. More, more of everything.
I mean, we are up over 400,000 still. We're fine. And that also means we can uh, buy now as well as sell. At least we can if we find anything at a decent price. Yep, not a whole lot going on here, huh? Uh, well, can I sell meat? Yes. Can I sell tools? Yes. I can't sell the glass. Oh, that's right. It's just the clothes. So we're going to move this into the warehouse. And that's, I think, it, right? Okay. All right. Well, let's see. Um, I can at least repair my vessels for the 500th time. Just out of curiosity, where'd that leave us with the Senate? Wow. Pretty solid, I'd say. Since I went ahead and bought the licenses that I want, I'm going to go ahead and go for the next level. I'm sensing we could have another unanimous thing. You know, one advantage of all this pirate hunting and keeping our reputation up this high is all that stupid sabotage went away that we they were doing to me. So we're now a Margrave. Now, I have the pirates that kind of took their place, but... Uh, okay, I have to remember to wait until uh, this is finished. So as soon as that's done, we're going to get out of here. And I guess I'm going to have to figure out what to do with this fifth ship. I have to look at the other convoys and figure out, uh, you know, who needs an upgrade the most. I'm going to go ahead and just bring them up to Caroni. Now, this, yeah, this is the convoy, convoy is that I am going to automate uh, using this new method. I think I'm going to go ahead and just empty this out. I don't think... Oh, I see. Athens has been excommunicated. Uh, I don't think that I'm going to get enough of a crew on here to matter. So instead, what I'm going to do is just make every effort possible to fix it so that there's no pirates left to waylay him. Or at least, not many. Uh, so, actually, you know what? Let's just grab him... We're going to finish this installment up in just moments. But we'll see. Like, I'll take this over to Athens and dump it in the warehouse. And we don't really need more grain, but we'll take it. Oops, sorry. Oh, you know, that's another thing. So next time, we'll work on getting the wine and the silk and the cloth and all that crap. We actually have a long clock. Once I give them that stuff, you have to wait two years for the marriage, as far as I can tell. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of a long thing. And uh, what was I going to do? I was going to put the salt in the warehouse. Although, it doesn't look like they have a shortage. If anything, you know what? I should probably take a little bit away. Uh, that's getting pretty extreme. Okay, so when we come back, what I'll do is I'll fix it so that um, the Santa Maria is automated and ready to go to these cities. And notice what I said. Without me being very active trading, we're back up over a half a million gold. So setting up these trade routes uh, the way I showed you earlier, you know, it is worthwhile because I was really never making much money when I was going around everywhere. Being able to buy as you go makes those trade routes just so much more profitable and effective. All right, enough preaching on that topic. Thank you for watching. I hope we see you next time.